I hope you guys are ready to redraw some old art. Hey everyone, it's Safer and I'm back with another video. So today I thought it might be fun to try and redraw an old piece of art that I did back in 2017. When I did this piece originally, I thought that it was like the, the best thing that I'd done at the time. Uh, so I wanted to try and see if I could make it better <laughs> by redrawing it two years later to see how much that I'd improve my skills and how much better I'd gotten at art uh, and, and how much different it would look. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's do it. So I started out by sketching some ideas and I decided that I wanted to change up the composition as well because I thought it was kind of boring for the old one. And that's a thing that like every time that I go to redraw an old piece of art that I've done, I need to make a decision of do I want to make every single component of this drawing different the way that I would have done it if I were to draw it now? Or do I keep the composition, the colors, the character, the something the same? But for this one I decided that I wanted to uh, show off in, in quotation marks uh, how much better that I'd gotten at all parts of creating a drawing. So the funny thing about this, and we'll get to that a bit later again, I think, uh, is that I might feel that I've gotten better at art and that what I'm doing now looks better than what I was doing before. And f for that reason, it gives it more value in my mind. The thing is that that doesn't necessarily give it more value objectively or overall or for other people. Because the funny thing is, when I finished this piece of art, I posted it to Instagram uh, with a side-by-side -side of this and the old one. And a lot of people actually said they prefer the older one, which I was like, w what? But this one is clearly objectively better. So then I had a whole mental crisis of what if I didn't get any better at art? What if I'm actually worse at art now? Or what if I just don't know what I'm doing? Or <laughs> I had a whole mental breakdown. But then I realized that like when I drew this two years ago, I was really proud of it and I thought that it was a really good piece of art. And just because I have two more years of experience with drawing and I've learned new things doesn't give the art that I did two years ago less value. And that's a way that I've looked at my art for a long time now is that new art has way more value and is objectively better than old art that I've made. Just because I have had more time to grow as an artist and to perfect my skills. And that's just not necessarily how it has to be. If we compare this to, say, uh, a studio like Disney, it's not like we look at things that they made way back in time, like The Lion King or The Little Mermaid or Snow White, and say that this doesn't have value anymore because they made something newer that's better. Because that's not really how it works. They made something earlier that was its own thing and it was good in its own ways. And now they're making something else that is newer and they've learned more, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's better. It's just different. And I guess this is again about my my problems with self-worth. If, if you all didn't know, I don't have a lot of self-worth and I tend to put myself down a lot. I'm very hard on myself and people who know me in real life will definitely agree with that statement. And this often ends up limiting me in things I want to do or things that I need to do. I, uh, I I bet you all noticed that I've been taking quite a long break from YouTube. This was not intentional. It just kind of spontaneously happened because I think one thing was that I really needed a break and um, I've had a lot of things going on before the summer vacation with uh, projects and exams and stuff like that. So. I kind of needed to take that time off and then I just ended up over the whole summer vacation also taking that time off. And it's not like I wasn't trying to make videos because this was actually recorded in the beginning of the summer vacation. I just never posted it again because of that thing where I'm way too hard on myself and I went, well, I mean, if it's not good, should I really post it to YouTube? So I just ended up trying to make a lot of content but stopping myself every time because I didn't think that it was good enough or I didn't know if people wanted to see it and I went down this whole mental spiral of just 
bad. <laughs> and I kept promising myself that when I start school again, I would start up my YouTube again. And now it's been a couple of weeks since I started school. And uh, again, I've been trying to force myself to do YouTube. Uh, <laughs> but I think that now I'm finally ready to, to just show you what I've been doing and, uh, and not be so hard on myself anymore. Oh well, let's talk about the drawing for a bit. So you saw in the beginning I did a bunch of different sketches and I was trying to figure out, as I said, if I wanted to change up a lot of things or if I wanted to keep it mainly the same but just show my improvement in style and uh, technical drawing skills or whatever. But I decided that I wanted to try and go for more of a dynamic pose, showing more of her body, because that's a thing that I've gotten better at since two years ago. And that's also why the original piece of art has her just like a bust from straight on. Uh, because I, I didn't really know how to draw bodies and I couldn't draw dynamic poses or <laughs> anything like that. I wasn't nearly as competent <laughs> when it comes to drawing people. Um, so I wanted to show that I've gotten better at that. So I drew her whole body for this and I really like it. I really really like the way that the pose and her body turned out. I think um, it's one of the best pieces of art that I've made lately. I also decided that I wanted this to be a lineless piece because I've been doing a lot of lineless and I wanted to see if I could do it faster than I usually do. Spoiler alert, I couldn't. It took me such a long time. And yeah, I've been talking a lot about how it takes a really long time when I do the lineless. But I just think that I'm much more happy with how that looks than when I do line art. So I'll probably continue doing it. Maybe. We'll see. I haven't been drawing at all over this summer and I, I feel like I just can't anymore. It's so weird. It feels like I lost my, my ability to draw. So I guess I'll have to get back in there and prove to myself that I can still draw. One thing that I really did like from the old one is the color scheme with the turquoise and the tur turquoise? Turqu tur 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 turquoise. Tur That's a word that I just never can say. Um, but with the, you know, the blue and the purple and the orange, I think that it goes together really nicely. So the only thing that I changed there was just like amping up the saturation a bit because the old one is kind of muddy and dull in the colors. And that's a thing that I used to do a lot is to like tone down colors and make them less saturated and more muddy. I don't know why I did that actually. Um, I think it was an attempt to, to be a bit more uh, dark and gloomy <laughs> with my art. But recently I've started to try and do more uh, saturated and colorful art because I really do enjoy that. Oh, and another thing I did was give her an earring and some bracelets you see here. But I gave her the earring specifically so that I could have some of the turquoise next to her. And then later on I went in and made it kind of glowy to give it like a magical feel. I don't know why, I just felt like uh, I wanted to, so I did. I think another thing that I should work on is getting better at being less um, nitpicky with my art and being a bit more loose and flowy, so not like spending a million years just sitting and, and tweaking the smallest details that you won't even see when I zoom back out. Because that's a tendency that I have that I do that and it's just, it takes so much time and it's so unnecessary and it doesn't even make it look better, it just makes it look stiff and, and yeah. So I need to get better at doing faster and looser drawings. Ooh, it's really coming together now. I'm like, I love it so much the way that it turned out. And I really like how I added the bubbles and you see like the uh, small dots of white that kind of makes it look like she's moving in the water. You know, you know what I mean? I really like it. I also want it to do like a, you know, like a wave pattern when you can see the sun coming through the water, but I just couldn't really figure out how to do it. So I, I, uh, I didn't, <laughs> whoops. Before the video is over, I also wanted to ask you guys if you have anything that you would like me to do on my channel, any video content that you really like to see from me, because uh, I, I do also tend 
to to like run out of ideas of what to do and I don't know what you guys want me to do so if you could let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see me do that would be great because then I don't have to try and guess what y'all want then you can just tell me and that would be great so I hope that you guys are excited for more soft videos I'm excited to be back yes it's gonna be great I'm gonna make an effort to be less hard on myself and I want all of you guys to do the same so if you also have a tendency to be a bit too critical of your own work please try and take a step back and appreciate what you're making because it's great and it has value and sometimes that's hard to see but you just really need to remember that you're great and you're awesome and your work is beautiful and now we're at the end of the video so here you have the two artworks next to each other so you can compare them if you want to I'm gonna put a poll you can vote which one you liked better for me it's gonna have to be the new one but feel free to express your opinion tell me which one you like better and that's about it for this video so thank you guys so much for watching it was so nice to see you all again i hope that i'm gonna see you soon and yeah that's about it so i will see you later <laughs>